triangulating stuff. So now I'm measuring uh, the exact crossing here. Good morning, everybody. Um, sweetie, you know what we agreed upon, right? Yeah, so for the olive experimenting, uh, So this is the one we did uh, yesterday and you see here a little bit this blacker layer. Uh, if you would sift this like with a piece of cloth like this, then you should get this. Uh, now because I'm experimenting, um, you saw how I did this one. It was just with uh, pressing the olives. I pressed them only once and this here I um, mixed olives up with the blender to get them like crushed uh, this extracts the oil a lot better and then I put it in the press um, but because the press had um, too big holes too big a holes 
um, the um, pulp stuff just went through it. Uh, so I put in uh, the cloth in the press and then there I put in the smashed olives and then I pressed it and then you get a little bit more clearer. Uh, in the middle is water here and the top part is uh, oil. Yeah, that's quite a bit of work for just a little bit of oil. Don't let it mix. That is not half bad. Hmm. Yeah, this took me like half an hour to get this. <laughs> now, if we would do it in a little bit of a larger scale, then it would be a little bit more easy. So for this year, this is uh, all I'm gonna do with the pressing. Uh, I already wrecked the press, actually. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Yeah, for one of the next videos, I'm still going to do the curing of the olives. So I'm only going to get the, the good ones out. And the rest we'll use uh, for, the, for the garden. On to more urgent matters. The roof. Uh, so you put, saw me put in this row of bricks. Uh, later I was thinking, uh, we're gonna up this wall, right? This is the diagonal wall that eventually needs to uh, travel upwards towards the top where the ridge beam is gonna come. So, it should actually be hooked into like this row, right? The row that we're cementing in here. It would be a good idea to like overlap the stones on the corner. So I wasn't thinking about that before. But we're still in time. So I need to clean this up. And then see that I can get at the same height as this one so for the next row we can overlap a stone
Yeah, we just um, figure it out as we go along here. <laughs> so um, what I also still need to do is uh, measure where the um, top of the gable needs to come, where the ridge beam is going to come on. And I need to measure that from uh, this, the already existing ridge beam. And let's do that first. So what I did, uh, because the beam is uh, a little bit further back than the wall, 
I put here a, a board in 90 degrees with the beam. And I hang a little rope with a um, piece of lead. Here comes Yuji. Um, yeah, with one of these uh, pieces of lead for my fishing gear. <laughs> so I have the exact uh, distance that the beam is from this point here. So here I put the measuring tape. And I went exactly horizontal towards the line. And then I get to three meter and three centimeters. Can uh, we think of it? We also need to measure how high the part is. But then I also need to remeasure the side. Uh, <laughs> we'll do that later. Oops. Um, because I measured, maybe this way is better. Uh, I measured it on the new cable. And then I get almost exactly to the end. And uh, that makes sense. So I end up... Um, Somewhere here. And I have uh, 20 centimeters left to the corner. 24 actually. And the beam was 16. So it ends eight centimeters. Yeah. So basically it comes over here. So that's exactly in the corner. It might be very interesting to see how we're going to solve that. Eventually. Yeah, so I'm quickly going to measure also um, how high we need to go. Because this is how high we need to go here. triangulating stuff. Uh, this is 110, exactly 110. I made this uh, horizontal line, horizontal level. So now I'm measuring uh, the exact crossing here. So 303 this side and 110 up. <laughs> You're breaking the agreement. So yeah, 303 this way and 110 this way. Part of the agreement, sweetie. Singing. The snacky made you sing.
Eugene's guard dogs. Hey, Dixie. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.